seeking justice for campus, uh, for campus rapes receives a Peabody. This radio documentary exposes serious failures on many campuses and calls for change. Students who commit rape on a college campus are pretty much like those rapists in prison. In both groups, many are serial rapists. On college campuses, these repeat predators account for nine out of every 10 rapes. They too look for the most vulnerable women, even if they don't use guns or knives. The basic weapon is alcohol. If you can get a victim intoxicated to the point where she's coming in and out of consciousness or she's unconscious, and, and that is a very, very common scenario, then you know, why would you need a weapon? Why would you need a, a, a knife or a gun? Isn't it great the work done by these people? Correspondent Joseph Shapiro accepts the Peabody Award. Thank you to the University of Georgia and the Peabody Board for this recognition. Uh, thanks also to my colleagues on, on this story, Suzanne Reber and Robert Benincasa. And I also have to thank the women who shared their painful stories. Just last month, Vice President Joe Biden announced new guidelines for college campuses, and these address many of the issues that we raised in our stories. I want to thank our partners at the Center for Public Integrity. I also want to say NPR is a, a national treasure. I, it's a place where I get to do journalism that matters. And I want to thank some of the people who started our new investigative unit. Suzanne Reber, Dick Meyer, Ellen Weiss, Vivian Schiller, and the others who support us so that we can keep doing that work and who are here today, including Joyce Slocum, Margaret Lowe Smith, Ellen McDonald, Deborah Delman, Madalika Sika, and Chris Turpin. Thank you.